Anthropic launches Claude 3 to dethrone GPT-4 to become the best model on the planet. This is the best LLM that we have got and they are saying that this is the most intelligent model and this can get only better from now. In this video, we're going to see what all the things that are great about Claude and also Claude being Claude from Anthropic. What are the things that it does not do good? So to start with, what is this model? This model, it's not a single model. It comes as a three different flavors. Flavors. So the Claude 3 model comes as Claude 3 Haiku, Claude 3 Sonnet, Claude 3 Opus. So these are three different models of three different sizes. Somehow they forgot to add the Y axis. I don't know why, because this is a marketing material and they don't think that we care about it. But I do care about it. I want to know what is the Y axis. Let's say this Y axis is intelligence measured in some benchmark score average or something. What they're saying is that the Claude 3 Opus is by far, by far the best model that you could have ever had on this planet at this point on March 4th, 2024. So GPT-4 scored 86.4% on MMLU with a five shot benchmark and Claude 3 scored 86.8 on the other benchmark, which is like a lot of people have said that this is one of the toughest benchmarks for LLMs to crack, which is GPQA. It's a graduate level reasoning. It has got like, I think physics and all the other questions. And this model, Claude 3 Opus has scored 50.4% while Claude 3 Sonnet has scored 40.4%, which is still better than GPT-4 and Claude 3 Haiku, 33.3%. But before you get ahead of yourself and then think, wow, we have got the best model. Are we going to use it every single day? Let me quickly go and take you to a very important section in this and then tell you that this is model. This model is going to be super expensive. In fact, it is a lot expensive than GPT-4. So if you have been mesmerized by GPT-4, if you have loved GPT-4, and if you think that Claude 3 is what you want because of this amazing scores that they've got, then you have to pay a lot more money for both your input tokens and also to your output tokens. In fact, output token is super expensive when you compare it with GPT-4 for 200K context window, but there is a catch. So the 200K context window is what they're naturally offering, but they're also saying that these models are capable enough to handle 1 million tokens. Taking a page out of Google Gemini 1.5 Pro, they're saying that these models can handle up to 1 million tokens. And if you have specific use case, you can reach out to them and they will give you, but they did not mention how to reach out to them. That's a, that's a funny thing. So how do you use these models? Claude 3 Opus, they are saying that primarily you have to use it for task automation, uh, research and development strategy. Like you want to understand charts and graphs. Now at this point you might be thinking, how do I analyze charts just with text? And that is exactly where we have the next segue because this model is not only a text-based model, just like every other model that we have got, GPT-4, Google Gemini, we have got a vision model in this also. So the start of multimodality has started with Claude models. We have got all the three models, Claude 3 Opus, Claude 3 Sonnet, Claude 3 Haiku, all the three models capable of vision capabilities. And you can see that the model is pretty good when you compare it with Gemini 1.0 Ultra. This does not compare with Gemini 1.5 Ultra. This compares with Gemini 1.0 Ultra. Still Claude 3 Opus is better. MMMU and uh, the other document Q&A, Math, Avista and all the other tasks like chart. Claude model is doing much better than the existing large language model, whether it is GPT-4 or Gemini 1.0 Ultra. The other important thing is the Claude models, according to them, the model, which is the smallest model in this case, the Claude 3 Haiku is near instant result. What they're saying that if you have got a dense research paper, let's say 10,000 tokens on archive, this can handle that in less than three seconds. In less than three seconds, it will be able to process 10,000 tokens. And for majority of workloads on it is two times faster than Claude 2 and Claude 2.1. And you know, you can see with larger model, the time will take. So they, the way they are positioning the three models. Okay, take the best model if you want to do strategy, R&D, task automation. Take the second best model if you want to do data processing, sales and time saving tasks like code generation 
and take their cheapest model if you want to do customer support customer interaction content moderation or anything that you want to do so this is this is their offering and uh, they've got into a lot of details in it but i want to take you to the model card which has got a lot of interesting information that i want to highlight one by one the very first thing is if you see the training data of this model i'll come to the weird part later on but if you see the training data of this model you can very well see that this model has got synthetic data in it so what is synthetic data synthetic data is how you use a large language model to generate training data to train another large language model. This is not like encouraged by GPT-4 by the terms of services that they have got. But Claude says here that Claude 3 models are trained on proprietary mix of publicly available information on internet as of August 2023. So the snapshot of Claude models, the models that we have got today, the three models, it is up to date up till August 2023. And other than this, uh, they also have got data labeling services providing data to them, paid contractors giving data to them and data generally that they generated internally. So this is the part where it says they have used synthetic data, which is a huge promise because one of the things that people always say that the good data that you have got better the model that you're going to get. And how do you always get good data? One, of course, you can be as rich as companies like OpenAI and Claude and then hire a company like say ScaleAI or pay a bunch of money to developing countries and they'll, they'll label it for you. But if you don't want to do it, one of the other ways to do it is use a large language model to generate synthetic data, which seems like what Claude has done here. Well, while they've also ensured that, you know, your data is not being used and all the other things. This is a very important information. So one is Claude can, um, Claude can generate anything up till August 2023. So it has got that knowledge and it has used synthetic data for the model training process. The weirdest thing that I wanted to just highlight quickly before we move on to the next section is that they have said that this model is supposed to be helpful, honest and harmless assistant, which is kind of OK. I understand this is how you want their AI to be because, you know, they're, they're more focused on the safety aspect. But what you cannot do is you cannot use Claude models to replace a lawyer. So you can support a lawyer, you can support a doctor, but they should not be deployed instead of one. So you cannot like replace a lawyer that is unintended use. In fact, there are prohibited uses. What are the prohibited uses? You should not use it for political campaigning, lobbying, surveillance, social scoring, criminal justice decisions, law enforcement, decisions related to financing, employment and housing. And if you do it again and again, then you might get your own account, the Claude access terminated. So some, something to keep in mind. If you want to lose your Claude access, the easiest way to do is Go ask them, who should I hire? Should I invest in this stock or no? Should I buy this house or no? Ask all these questions. Uh, very soon, you will have your Claude account blocked. But other than that, I think this is uh, this is a really good model. They've gone into a lot of details, especially for every benchmark. They've mentioned, okay, five shot score, a five shot with chain of thought score. Then if you take, like for example, where they have used majority voting, so you can see at majority voting with 32, four shot, this is the score and you can see this model being really good at a lot of different tasks, whether it is human eval, which is the coding evaluation task, whether it is MBBP, which is like a Python related task, 86.4 for context for the same MBPP, MBPP, uh, you can see Mistral Large has scored 73. So where Mistral scored 73, Claude, the largest model has scored 86. In fact, their smallest model has scored 80 or somewhere around 79. So this shows how far their model has been and how good the model has been. Out of box, the model seems to be good with medical questions. The model seems to be good with common sense reasoning. The model seems to be definitely good with high school and grade school math. So overall, this is an impressive model. And in terms of the multimodality, this is a question that they've given in an example. So what is the average percentage difference between young adults and elders for G7 nation. So if you ask a human being like me, I will take certain time. So first of all, I need to look at the chart, identify what are the G7 nations and then go see the percentages here and then do the average or addition and then calculate the average. This is this is technically how I would do as a human being who will take a little bit of time. For so the same question, Claude 3 Opus 
has given the answer like identify the G7 countries and again you're doing step by step here and then after you identify you add up everything then you add up the differences and get the divide uh, by the total because that's how you calculate uh, arithmetic average and then the answer is 10 percent i did the same test with chat gpt or gpt4 to be honest and uh, gpt4 did a pretty good job except one mistake so first of all it gives you an answer which is kind of like plausible then you start wondering how did it get 10.28 instead of 10 and that is where the trick here is that gpt4 misidentified this one instead of eight it took it as nine either it could be because of my low resolution image that i gave because i copied and pasted there or it could be genuinely because gpt4 got confused but the other thing is gpt4 here uses a combination of the llm plus coding and anal analytic capability like the advanced data analysis which i don't think claude does at this point even though they have mentioned very clearly that one of the things that they are going to do soon is to introduce a repel which is like the interactive coding capability to have tool use also known as function calling the current model that they've got does function calling but they're going to introduce these new features B without like going into much more details one of the things that they are saying is that claude is you know honestly like there are a lot of memes about claude claude is like known for being trying to be super safe model and um, they're saying that the incorrect refusals will go down or has gone down a lot like tremendously you can see Claude 2.1, this was the refusal rate. And Claude 3, Opus, Sonnet Haiku, the refusal rate goes down. Before I close the video, I wanted to highlight one very interesting thing, which is something that you wouldn't have expected at all. And let me know in the comment section what you feel about this. Let's listen to me. So this is a very popular analysis, uh, the needle in a haystack analysis, where you try to give like really long document, in this case, 200K tokens, and then you try to find something. So you put a needle in a haystack and then you try to find out and then you try to map like like a conditional formatting heat map style to see where the needle was and how accurate it was in retrieving it this is a recall or retrieval kind of an analysis to say that okay if you don't use rag if everything is inside the prompt in context how good the model is in retrieving it that's well and good and uh, like gemini 1.5 pro or 1 1.5 pro Claude is doing a pretty good job for 200k it is doing a pretty good job we don't know what is for 1 million but for 200k this is a pretty good job where you're getting more than 99 percent accuracy that's not the weirdest part the weirdest part is something that you're going to see uh, right now so what is the weirdest part when you have done when they have done the needle in a haystack analysis you sometimes ask a question that is not part of the training data right that's that's how you understand or not part of the context when they had a question so here is the most relevant sentence in the documents it says the most delicious pizza topping combinations is fix prosecutor goat cheese blah 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 however this sentence seems very out of place and unrelated to the rest of the content in the documents so if you have to do needle in a haystack you need to first put that sentence somewhere in the context and then you need to ask a question to retrieve it, right? That's how you're going to do it. It's almost like hide and seek. What Claude has figured out is that what you're hiding here is completely out of place. It says, however, this sentence seems very out of place and unrelated to the rest of the content in the documents, which are about programming languages, startups, and finding work you love. I suspect this pizza topping fact may have been inserted as a joke or to test if I was paying attention. Wow. Seriously, I mean, seriously, since it does not fit with other topics at all, the documents do not contain any other information about pizza toppings. For me, in this entire announcement, this is the most revealing information. I don't know what are the implications of it, but I would like to hear from you. What do you think about it? But otherwise, you can go to Claude.ai and experience the smaller size model, which in this case is Claude 3 Haiku. And if you have got pro access, you can try Claude 3 Opus. Let me know in the comment section what you feel about it. See you in another video. Happy prompting.